Nuke Gaucho Grill, Jealous Double Charcoal, Tiger McCool Fire Cup, and a Zippo Lighter. You know what's gonna make this better? Emerald Isle Seafood and some Dr. Doors Lemon Garlic Seasoning. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a good time right now. Scoot that right underneath there. Let you see what I'm doing here. All right. And it's gonna heat up all that charcoal there. Might be better if I have to turn the right way, huh? There we go. Move some around it. All right, guys, it's Big Lou Barbecue. No things I wanna do. Watch a big little barbecue with other things I want to do. And let me tell you what I got going on for you. We're going to do some fish for you. Right now it's Ash Wednesday. And uh, you will see this on the first Friday of Lent. So, yeah, let's do some fish, all right? Um, Dr. Door sent me some more. Oh, yeah, y'all know I like Dr. Door season. And one of my favorites, absolute favorites, is lemon garlic pepper. Uh, a, a subscriber of mine sent me some Dr. Doors years ago. He has since passed away, all right? His name was Tim. And when he sent me this Dr. Doors lemon garlic pepper, I thought it was the best I've ever had. And I tell you what, it spoiled me for all the store brands. It just has. And uh, when I run out of Dr. Doors, I get sad. And Dr. Doors, she sends me some more and I get happy again. And she contacted me the other day and said, hey, Lou, do you need anything? I got a package coming your way. And I said, I am out of lemon garlic pepper. All right, anyway, looks like that on the back. This stuff is good on fish, shrimp, seafood. Lots of other things too. I absolutely love this. This is the best lemon garlic pepper there is. All right, she also sent me some more of her um, prime rib and beef seasoning. This is good on uh, this is good on steaks, but it's also good on briskets and stuff like that. But it's great on prime rib and stuff. But I, I just put it on ribeyes. You know, it's really good stuff. And she sent me more of her Texas hot dog seasoning. All right, no, this isn't a weenie rub. Get your mind out of the gutter. All right, this is. Texas hot dog season. What it is is chili mix, and you mix it with ground meat and um, some, you know, some stock or some water or something, and uh, you got a good chili to put on hot dogs and stuff, you know. And uh, you know, Texas is 15 miles that way. Uh, I'm not putting beans in it. All right, no, uh, -uh no beans. Don't go on my chili. Tomatoes don't go on my jambalaya. Hey, we're doing uh, fish, like I said. Got some Emerald Isle seafood. You know, the Benny Sub. He sent me the charcoal. He sent me the grill. He sent me this fish. All right. Cod. All right. Yeah, I got two of these. We're going to do them in a basket. You know, fish in a basket. You get these baskets uh, from places and you stick them in your cabinet and you never use them. Always thinking you're going to use them. Well, I like to use them. They actually work well, especially with white flaky fish like cod. All right. So anyway, we're going to put, uh, let's get the lemon garlic pepper on the fish, get the fish in the basket, get the fish on the grill. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. All right, I've taken these cod fillets out of the bag and this one is absolutely huge. It's really thick. Um, this one's not quite as thick. It is thick, but uh, if this one's done earlier, I'll take it out of the basket first. What you wanna do, you wanna pat it down with a paper towel. Just, you know, kind of get it dry here. A little bit doesn't have to be perfectly dry but you don't want it you know sopping wet as they are right now so uh and i'm gonna flip it over and dry the other side and i'm gonna flip them back and show you where we go from there all right well i've patted both sides down with paper towels and i'm not flipping them back because i'm gonna go ahead and uh, dress this side first and then we'll flip it over and dress the other side now what i'm gonna do is put a little bit of this um extra virgin uh pecan oil on there all right and um, this is really good stuff. I enjoy using it, all right? If you want to find out information, it's called Kinlock Pecan Oil, all right? Um, it's not extra virgin, it's just virgin. Anyway, um, it's a product of Louisiana, and uh, I like it, I like to use it. Doesn't mean it's inexpensive, and they didn't sponsor this video in any way, but I do enjoy this pecan oil stuff. So I'm just gonna brush that on the uh, fish like that. Make sure I get it all over that fish. All right. And now, Dr. Dora, she sends this stuff in bags, all right? And um, because she sends this stuff in bags, I like to uh, put it into a shaker. So I use a shaker from, you know, another YouTube guy that sends me stuff, seasonings, you know? Just a hint, Dr. Dora, just a hint. Actually, this works out well. Anyway, I can sprinkle it on easy. If you watch some other Dr. Door videos, I've tried to spill it out of the bag, and that doesn't always work too well. Um, 
I do have some glass shakers in there. I'll probably put some of this in more, more permanent uh, use. But anyway, I'm going to just sprinkle it on there like that. That lemon garlic pepper, it's not real spicy. It's not too hot. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over like this. This is the side you saw earlier when I was patting it dry. All right. And I'm going to put some more. Um, I'll wash this bottle off. All right, put some more pecan oil on that. Ooh, that's a lot. I can get both of them with that one. All right. Ooh, I'm not perfect. I'm not a professional chef. I can get some of the oil here and get it on this one. All right. This will help keep the fish from sticking to the basket. We're also going to oil down the basket. All right, so we just sprinkle it on there like that and get a good coating. This lemon garlic pepper is absolutely... Guys, I can't tell you how good it is. Order you some from Dr. Daw. It is the best I have ever had, all right? Um, you'll be hard pressed to find a better lemon garlic pepper. All right, I got this basket right here. This side comes out like that. So what I'm gonna do is set that to the side. What I'm gonna do is take some of this oil and I'm just gonna brush it on this basket. Just slop it on that basket like that so stuff doesn't stick. All along the sides, even though the fish is not gonna be on the sides too much, just slop it on the basket, all right? I'm doing the same thing with the top part, all right? There's some oil in this little trough on this cutting board here. I'm just gonna slop it on the basket. Just slop it on there. Love this silicone brush from Thermoworks. All right, hey, prep time is almost over, guys. Look at this. Look at this. We just pick this cod filet up like that, set it in the basket. I just dropped my pecan oil on the ground. Did damn it. Bottle didn't break, though, because we're out here in the grass. Good thing I wasn't on the tile floor in the kitchen, huh? All right? Now, I've got the thicker parts of the fillets toward the center of the basket because that's where I'm going to have the hotter part of the coals, all right? Now, this snaps on like this, right like that. And guys, we're ready to go to the grill. That fish is going to be good. All right, I like using this uh, Nuke Delta for this fish in the basket because the grill goes up and the grill goes down. And so if it's getting a little too hot, I can move it up and, it move, and I got a little lever over here on the side. So, but uh, if you're using a gas grill, you got knobs, you can just turn down or up. And if you're using like a charcoal kettle or something, just manage your fire well, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and move it up so I can get these coals underneath here. Let me shovel these hot coals out a little earlier. There's a shovel full of them. Got those coals placed like I want them to be. I'm gonna lower that all the way down. Cause you see I got an inch or two with the basket here. Boom, fish is on there. All right. And if I wanted to close this, I don't, but I could. All right, well while that fish cooks right there, let me show you what Dr. Door did. She does give these things in these uh, pouches like that, all right? But that's not gonna melt right there. Well, maybe it will, I won't put it there. So what she did this time is she sent me three of these stickers and the stickers, let me put this down on the table. All right, she sent me three of the stickers and the stickers have a little part right there where you can write what season it is on it. And so you just get one of these jelly jars, you know, and of course the jelly jar is not gonna melt. So I'm gonna put it right there. And you get these uh, shaker lids you can buy at the store, all right? Open it up and you can shake stuff out of it. And if you don't have a shaker lid, you could just use one of these Parmesan cheese uh, jars from that cheap grated Parmesan cheese you buy at the store for spaghetti and whatnot. And you could even use the plastic bottle uh, from it. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this label on there just like that. And I'm gonna write lemon garlic pepper on it and pull the lemon garlic pepper in there and bingo bango, I've got a shaker for it, which makes it a whole lot easier to use. All right. Put that in there. That fits, that's a, uh, just about fits. Plus what I used earlier on the fish, it'll fit in that jar. And this is a um, cup and a half jar, not quite a pint, uh, three quarters of a pint jar, just a little jelly jar. So anyway, bag's empty, I can dispose of that. Can't thank you enough, uh, Dr. Dora, I love this seasoning. Don't believe my demonstration about the um, screws on there like it's supposed to be there. Look at that.
pour a lot out of that side and spoon it out if I had to use a tablespoon of it, all right? That's a Parmesan cheese top. But I'm gonna go ahead and go with the ball top. And just shake it out of those holes there. All right, you see how the fish is starting to get flaky like that? It's time to turn it over. Look how beautiful that is. Just look how gorgeous that is, all right? See how it's starting to flake apart? Now that's a little closer to the coals. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and just raise it up one, one click, cause you see it was at the bottom of the basket there. Look what I did. Got all the Dr. Doors in there and wrote lemon garlic pep, cause I ran out of room for pepper. But I did put LGP right up the top there, all right? Anyway, now, Dr. Doyle, you don't need a shaker. We just use this uh, reusable stuff. Save the environment, less packaging. That's a good idea. All right, anyway, uh, that fish will be done real soon. We're looking at an internal, internal temp of about 145-ish or so. All right, this fish looks done. It's done. 145 is what we want. A little overdone on that side right there. All right. Right there, that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good, all right? At least 145 is what I like my white flaky fish to be. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, Nuke comes with this cool griddle. And since I didn't cook any vegetables tonight, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and, uh, ooh, that's hot. See how easy that comes off of there like that? Boom, all right? Now, flip it over and dead nab it. That wasn't supposed to happen. I wasn't real smooth with that. Hey, that cod's gonna taste good anyway. Broke it up in pieces, it'll still taste good. I'll prove it to you. All right, I got some peas in there on the stove. I got some potatoes, onions, bell peppers roasting in the Dutch oven, in the oven inside. And um, that's the only thing I'm doing on the grill tonight. So I'm gonna bring that in, we're gonna eat. Look, I got this good piece of cod right there with a lot of that lemon garlic pepper on it. Mmm, 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 mmm. That lemon garlic pepper is fantastic on fish. Absolutely love it. I'm going to bring this griddle in, and um, we're going to eat inside. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. Dr. Door, thanks for sending me some more. I'm going to say it like this. Dr. Door, send me some more. I love to say it like that. Hey, y'all have fun. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue.